Welcome everybody. I'm back y'all with another video. Let's jump right into it, okay? So we're going to read from the Millennial Oracle deck and we're going to see what messages we get. Okay, let's see what messages we get for the collective. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you here. I am the Empress okay and if you are returning welcome back my loves welcome back thank you for everybody who has been supporting my channel who has liked shared subscribed everybody who has booked a personal reading and as well as shopped on my website guys thank you so much for your love and support i greatly 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 appreciate it all right so let's get a quick message here And let's see what's going on. What does the collective need to know? What's going on? What does the collective need to know? So somebody that you was in love with, they may have ghosted you. Let me pull this down so y'all can see the cards. Okay. And somebody ghosted you. And the thing about it is they're not sorry about it. Okay. They're not sorry about it. They're not sorry about this or pulling a disappearing act on you. They love bombed you. It was a form of manipulation. They had hidden intentions. Things that you didn't know. Okay. They ghosted you and they're not sorry for it. They're not sorry about it. I feel like they ghosted you because you have this lifestyle of the finer things. You're more upscale, um, upper class. And this person wasn't going to do nothing but breadcrumb you. Okay. They didn't have nothing to offer. They didn't have nothing to offer. They only had their hidden agendas. Yep, swerved. And they swerved in another lane, right? They dodged you. They swerved in another lane. And guess what? Right on time. Because the universe, God, has been raining blessings down on you upon blessings, upon blessings, upon blessings. Okay? This was divine protection, okay? You got a staycation. You, this is divine protection. A lot of people don't understand that. That a lot of times rejection ain't nothing but protection, okay? I feel like you were you were protected. Could be said four four four. This person had hidden agendas. This person had ulterior motive, okay? They had a hidden agenda. So it was best for them to swerve in another lane. Now we got a uh, humble brag. Don't be so obvious. Read between the lines. Somebody they in they they in here over their feelings in their feelings, but they try not to. They not trying to be so um, open about it. They're subliminally, you know, in their feelings subliminally. So there's something that you did, and the only thing that I feel like you did was continue to move on with your life. And you've been being blessed because you continue to move on. This has this person's in this person in their feelings. Now they over here throwing shade. <laughs> they might have threw shade at, threw shade at you because some of y'all are spiritual. Y'all have a spiritual gift. Okay. You're walking in your purpose. You are manifesting. They may not know too much about that. And they may not know too much about that. And they just, you know, may have been throwing shade. Ghosted. I told you. This person ghosted you. And let me tell you why they ghosted you. I honestly, it is because you were too much. You were way more mature than they were. Okay. You mean business. You mean business. You not nobody to play with. You mean business. This ain't no, you, they can't come to you all type of ways. They can't come to you sideways. Okay. See, this is things that they struggle with. Things that they struggle with, you got it down pat. Okay. You got it, you got it going. It's, it's nothing to you. But these are things, real adult life is things that this person struggles with. So they ghosted you for that reason. Yeah. Your aura, your vibe. You listen to your intuition. You're always pretty like comfortable. And this person can't stand it. They legit can't stand it. 
they legit cannot stand it. That's been stalking you, watching you. And I feel like they're watching you be successful, watching from the sidelines, because I see you getting a lot of validation or likes or support online. Yeah, and it's like ever since this person chucked the deuces up and went on about their business, life been good. <laughs> life has been amazing. Okay, life has been amazing. A lot of y'all done been going viral. Y'all got some products that y'all selling going viral. Y'all got a business and it's booming. Y'all are climbing up the corporate ladder. Y'all got a raise, a promotion at work, whatever it is. It's something that's going. Y'all got some type of lucky break. Okay, ever since. Well played. Because y'all knew it was a game of chess, not checkers. Okay, so ever since this person left, things have just been great anyway. And now this is, this person is suspicious about it. Now this person is suspicious. Who are you dating? They want to know who you're dating. What, what little lover, lame ass, who you dealing with now? He a simp. He a simp. She ain't nothing. They feel like you finessing somebody in order to get this, to gain this, these blessings that you've been getting. Because they thought that once they canceled you, that was it. But a lot of y'all done blew up. A lot of y'all been jumping on social media. A lot of y'all done became an influencer overnight. And then you got receipts to prove, to prove it. You chosen. They can't stop it. It is what it is. This person mad, mad in their feelings. I'm talking about big mad. All up in their feelings. All up in their feelings. Let me pull up. I'm going to pull a few cards from here. Matter of fact, since they in their feelings, let's, 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 jump, let's get a card from here. Y'all be sure to like the video and share the video as well. Why is this person in their feelings? What's 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 going on? Why are they in their feelings? This person is obsessed with you. This person is damn obsessed with you. You wanna know, went on some type of spiritual journey and you may have, you know, handled things a whole lot differently, a whole lot better. You've elevated. But this person is still stuck on you. They're not over you. They're obsessed with you. But see, they let their ego get in the way. They let the ego get in the way. I'm saying holding back tears. This person be holding back tears when it comes to you. They stressed out. They stressed, baby. This person stressed out. And if they trying to find ways to clear their head, maybe trying to give you space to clear your head, but they in their feelings. They really in their feelings because once y'all disconnected, you flourished. Tell me how this person feels. I'm just going to pull a few from here. And then we're going to head on out. All right. So tell me what else. How does this person feel? Show me their thoughts. What are their intentions? Ooh. Okay. They said you got new friends to talk to. You got new people to talk to. You been you just started being social. It could be a Capricorn right here, but this person is obsessed. Okay, this person is obsessed. They're toxic. They're possessive. They're a lot of things. Okay, they got a lot of uh, bad habits, a lot of negative thoughts. But they say, yeah, you started you started being way more social, and they're surprised by this. They're old. They're super duper surprised because. This is what they've been waiting on. They was waiting on you to be more open. And you were very closed off when you was with this person. Maybe you were very private. They felt like you you were holding back. They felt like the relationship, this is a masculine. They felt like the relationship, or it could be a friend, okay? It could be a friend, a quote-unquote friend. It's a friend to me. <laughs> but they feel like you were holding back the whole time. And this kind of pisses this person off. Okay, this kind of pisses this person off because right now you've been in your ten of pentacles. 
this person is afraid to ask you for something because they, they feel like you may be kind of like, you know, kind of controlling. So they don't even want to even read. They don't even know what to say to you. They don't even know. They don't know. Okay, so that's why they're sitting back pissed off because they done messed up the opportunity to even deal with you, come around you, be around you, be in your presence, be in your energy, be filling up your vibe, all of that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.